Behind the carefully crafted image of Narendra Modi as a visionary leader lies a web of deception spun by the WhatsApp University, the clandestine IT cell of the BJP in Karnataka. Join us as we peel back the layers of misinformation and expose the orchestrated narrative designed to portray Modi as a messiah for the nation, revealing the truth hidden beneath the veneer of propaganda. In the maze of modern politics, truth often dances on the edge of fiction, propelled by the relentless force of digital manipulation. Welcome to the shadowy world of the WhatsApp Mafia, where narratives are spun, truths are obscured, and political agendas reign supreme. Join us on a journey as we peel back the layers of deception surrounding Narendra Modi, India's enigmatic Prime Minister, and expose the clandestine operations of the BJP IT cell in Karnataka. Brace yourself for a riveting exploration into the murky depths of digital propaganda and the perilous implications for democratic discourse. Narendra Modi's Background and Claims Narendra Modi's rise from humble beginnings to the highest echelons of Indian politics has been shrouded in controversy. While he often claims a childhood marked by poverty and struggle, questions linger about the authenticity of these assertions. Allegations regarding his family's financial status and his upbringing have sparked debates about the veracity of Modi's narrative. Critics argue that his portrayal of himself as a self-made man is a carefully crafted political tool aimed at garnering sympathy and support. The lack of transparency surrounding Modi's past further fuels skepticism, with some suggesting that he has intentionally obscured details to suit his political agenda. Understanding Modi's background is crucial for evaluating his leadership style and motivations, as it provides insights into the forces that have shaped his worldview and political ideology. Mangal Vajpayee, BJP. In a candid interview, BJP worker Mangal Vajpayee sheds light on his journey within the party, sharing personal beliefs, struggles, and aspirations. Vajpayee's unwavering commitment to the BJP reflects the fervent dedication of many party loyalists who view Modi as a transformative figure in Indian politics. His interview offers a glimpse into the grassroots level of the BJP, highlighting the hopes and expectations pinned on the party's leadership. Critique of Modi's Leadership Critics of Modi's leadership often draw parallels between his governing style with Hitler and Mussolini. They point to Modi's authoritarian tendencies, his centralization of power, and his adept use of propaganda to manipulate public opinion. The erosion of democratic norms under his rule, coupled with a cult-like following reminiscent of totalitarian regimes, raises concerns about the future of Indian democracy. While supporters applaud Modi's decisive leadership and economic reforms, detractors warn against the dangers of unchecked authority and the suppression of dissent. Modi's political strategies rely heavily on manipulating public sentiment and exploiting religious divides for electoral gains. His adept use of divisive rhetoric and identity politics has polarized Indian society, deepening communal tensions and exacerbating social fissures. By stoking nationalist fervor and tapping into Hindu nationalism, Modi has consolidated his power base and marginalized dissenting voices. Critics accuse him of exploiting religion for political purposes, undermining the secular fabric of Indian democracy and sowing seeds of discord for short-term political advantage. Debunking Modi's Claims Despite Modi's claims of humble beginnings and altruistic deeds, evidence suggests a more complex reality behind his carefully crafted narrative. Investigations into his past reveal discrepancies in his accounts of poverty and charity, casting doubt on the authenticity of his rags-to-riches story. Critics argue that Modi's selective amnesia conveniently obscures uncomfortable truths about his rise to power, including his alleged complicity in communal violence and human rights abuses, Debunking Modi's claims is essential for holding him accountable and fostering transparency in Indian politics. Manipulative Techniques and Propaganda Modi's mastery of manipulative techniques and propaganda tactics has reshaped the political landscape of India. 
from his meticulously choreographed public appearances to his use of social media as a tool for disseminating propaganda, Modi's communication strategy is designed to control the narrative and shape public perception. By casting himself as a crusader against corruption and a champion of the poor, Modi has cultivated a carefully curated image that resonates with his base while deflecting attention from his government's shortcomings. However, critics argue that behind the facade lies a darker reality of censorship, intimidation, and the erosion of democratic institutions. Unveiling BJP's IT cell, WhatsApp Mafia. In Karnataka, a ground report reveals a fervent devotion to PM Modi, even amidst economic struggles and a lack of awareness about his achievements. This blind allegiance is fueled, in part, by the influence of the BJP IT cell and WhatsApp University, which perpetuate misinformation and cultivate a cult of personality around Modi. The tactics employed by the WhatsApp Mafia include instilling racial and religious pride, promoting victimization, fear-mongering, and fostering blind devotion through false narratives. This calls for collective action to combat the spread of misinformation and the manipulation of public sentiment. Delving into the intricate workings of the WhatsApp Mafia unveils a multifaceted apparatus designed to perpetuate a cult-like devotion to Modi. Operating through distinct departments, including racial and religious pride, victimization, fear-mongering, and the glorification of Modi's persona, the Mafia employs a sophisticated arsenal of psychological manipulation to sway public sentiment. It operates in departments. Department 1. Racial Religious Pride Through a careful orchestration of misinformation, the WhatsApp Mafia fuels sentiments of racial and religious superiority, fostering a divisive ethos that undermines social cohesion. Distorted narratives abound, sowing seeds of discord and perpetuating stereotypes that exacerbate communal tensions. Department 2. Victimization and Self-Pity Exploiting human susceptibility to emotive appeals, the WhatsApp Mafia crafts narratives of victimization and self-pity, engendering a siege mentality among adherents. By framing perceived adversaries as oppressors, they engender a sense of collective grievance, fostering solidarity within their ranks. Department 3. Fear-mongering. The WhatsApp Mafia capitalizes on primal fears, inundating recipients with messages designed to instill dread and paranoia. From exaggerated threats to fabricated crises, fear-mongering serves as a potent tool for coercing compliance and consolidating power. Department 4. Modi's Cult of Personality Central to the WhatsApp Mafia's agenda is the deification of Modi, positioning him as a messianic figure ordained to lead the nation to greatness. Through a relentless barrage of adulation and propaganda, they cultivate an aura of infallibility around Modi, fostering unwavering loyalty and obedience. Misinformation and False Claims A rigorous examination of the misinformation propagated by the WhatsApp Mafia reveals a web of deceit woven from half-truths and fabrications. My name is Anil Kumar. I'm a BJP IT cell. I'm a team in the comment section. I'm a team in the comment section. And our main job is to defame the team. They upload the things. We go to the comment section and defame the team. We go to the comment section. From spurious health claims to distorted historical narratives, the chasm between reality and fiction widens, imperiling informed decision-making and societal cohesion. The imperative for collective action against the WhatsApp Mafia becomes apparent, as the pernicious influence of misinformation threatens the very foundations of democracy. Through concerted efforts to debunk falsehoods and promote media literacy, citizens can reclaim the narrative and safeguard the integrity of public discourse. In conclusion, the intricate tapestry of Narendra Modi's political narrative and leadership style prompts a critical examination of his legacy and the broader implications for Indian democracy. From his contested claims of humble beginnings to the manipulation of public sentiment through propaganda and strategic messaging, Modi's tenure as Prime Minister has been characterized by controversy and polarization. The devotion to Modi amidst economic hardships 
fueled by the BJP IT cell and WhatsApp University, underscores the pervasive influence of misinformation and the challenges facing informed democratic discourse. As we confront the dangers of blind allegiance and unchecked manipulation, the imperative for collective action against the WhatsApp Mafia becomes clear. By promoting media literacy and holding political leaders accountable, we can safeguard the integrity of public discourse and uphold the principles of democracy for generations to come. Join us in the fight against digital deception, for the truth is our most potent weapon in the quest for a more just and equitable society.